tip, you have a parts list under your hood. This is a Kohler 7000 series, 22 horsepower motor. The book says the drain plug is that square nut right under there on the right side of the engine. They put this hose and a drain plug on the left side of the engine by the oil filter. It takes the metric. It takes a 19 millimeter wrench for the actual plug. The other side, I wasn't sure. I just used a normal adjustable crescent wrench. Now, this is on right. When you put it on correctly, it should come off just by hand pressure alone. It doesn't look like it's going to. So, as usual, they over tighten it right out of the facilities. So, I got an oil filter wrench. Hopefully, we can get it off without stripping it. This engine takes two quarts of oil and we went with the 10W30. Fill the oil to the bottom of the threads and wait two minutes. You usually take a little oil you're left over from the top and you just wipe the gasket. This makes sure it has a good seal all the way around it. I've seen these done before without them, and the seal will crack and you'll start leaking oil. Just screw it on. Do not be tempted to over tighten these. You may never get them off again. Hand tight is all you need. There you go. Put the cap back on the oil drain hose. These are just made of plastic. So don't over tighten these either. Get it just, just till it stops. Don't overdo it. Pop it right back in its holder. And holds it nice and neat. For once engineers did a good job. It's gotta add the oil right back in. It goes right in through the, through the check. The check hole, everybody wanna call it. Funnel. Two quarts of 10W30 oil. Kohler will try to sell you theirs for twice the price. You can get this at Walmart, $5 a quart. Do not use synthetic, you need the real oil. Goes full as soon as the engine starts. The oil will draw down into the filter, so it should be right at the top of full, and it'll draw about halfway down. Air filter should be really easy. Famous last words. Out. 
do one in the box. Back in. around it. All it does is keep some of the dust out. Move on the dirt road, it's very dusty. Hard to believe that used to be green. Does its job. Done. Fuel filter next. The arrow's pointing in the direction the fuel flows, so we need to make sure it notes it's pointing to the front of the lawnmower. That's how we need to install the new one. These are just little squeeze clamps. It should be fairly simple to come off, as long as you've got the right pair of pliers, which I do not. Just slide it back. I recommend have a good pair of gloves on, because you will get gas on your hands. I guess that's the side the fuel's coming from. Oh, that's gonna be the messy one. Let me open the new one. quick that should stop flow for a little bit just a moment at least Just a little bit. I'm gonna make sure you only got hose. There you go. <clears throat> Beautiful. This is Kohler's V twin engine, which means they have a spark plug on the other side. It's not a single cylinder like a lot of smaller lawnmowers. We have two, one on each end of the block. There's one here, and there is another just on the opposite side. And these are simple enough. We're not gonna change the wires, we're just gonna change the plugs. I'm sure recommendations are to change both, but we'd have to take the whole cover off just to get the wire off. They probably don't even need it. They should just pop right off. There is the plug. You will need a spark plug socket. This is just a standard 5 8 inch spark plug socket. The regular socket will not work because this is a deep well. It's got to go around the actual plug itself to get to, get to the threads in the back. This will work on most vehicles and any regular equipment. Shouldn't be that tight. Once you get it loose, you should just be able to do it by hand. Yep. There it is. It's actually not that bad considering how much we've ran it. You shouldn't see any carbon buildup. That's kind of what this black is. You shouldn't see any of that around the gap. So this one's not bad, but since we got it out, we'll go ahead and change it out. This is just your standard Champion RC12YC spark plug. You can get these just about anywhere. Any store that sells any kind of automotive equipment will have these. These fit a lot of lawnmowers, a lot of small tillers, equipment like that. It's a very, very basic, almost standard size spark plug. Fits right back in inside the cylinder. So inside the cylinder head, if I had it right. <laughs> Give it a little twist. I'm sure these have a proper torque, but I'm just going to get it till it's just tight. Do not over tighten these. Last thing you want is a spark plug stuck in your cylinder head. You will never get it out. Just pop your boot back on. It's just a click. That's all you have to do. Let's do the other side.